Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Um, someone in my Discord actually asked me um, how to implement some kind of Markov sequencers or Markov chain probabilistic melody generating or sequencing selecting stuff inside the Bitwig grid. And this, of, this was kind of my solution to that. And I want to explain you first how it works or how you can read this and then maybe how I built it and how the, yeah, the theory behind is, right? So first the setup here, it's just in a node grid. So everything you see here is in this node grid and it outputs nodes to this pulley synthia, which is just a regular synthesizer. You can of course use a VST or you can record also the node outputs here to a different uh, track if you want to. And inside this node grid here we have um, the scale of C major, so C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. Also here the same, are the same notes. And in the middle here we have um, yeah, a probabilistic um, graph we can use to dial in some things. So let's say we have C, we start at 3, or we have the note of C3. You can dial in now here which node follows C, C3 by which probability. So let's say um, D, which is the second one. So uh, let's dial in here for the second draw, a probab probability by 60%. Okay, and then we can say um, maybe or oh, we are currently at b so let's dial in c so we're back here okay so now we are at d and d um, maybe as the second or as the following up note we want to have a c so we go back to c with the probability of 50 percent. so now you can see the notes switching between c and d um so this is basically how it works you say by a probabilistic um value which node follows which node. So another example would be, maybe switch this here back to C. Um, we are at C and we want to go to every other node here except C. So we dial in here probability by some random value. Maybe we can say we want to have these a bit lower and uh, but the fourth and the fifth is maybe a bit higher. And these are pretty low here. And then from all the other nodes, we want to have a following up node of C. So we want to go to a random node from C. So C to a random node. And then all the other nodes go back to C. So we can dial in here C with the, with the high probability. So now every other node is basically a C. So you sw switch between C, the root node, and the random node. Or not, it's not really random, it's probabilistic, right? So you go to uh, the fifth and the fourth a bit more often than all the other nodes. So, and then you just hit play. So you can create melodies this way and can say you want to have these notes following these notes by this probability. And you can create melody generators with this or you can also um, maybe analyze popular music and basically get the notes out and analyze which note follows which note by which probability. And then you can dial it in here and then you can recreate this melody in kind of the same way, but with different iterations of it. So this is how it's used. And I think a lot of machine learning is also utilizing this kind of behavior. So you have an input step and then you have a probability of the outcome and then the outcome defines the new input. And then you go back and forth in kind of a, a feedback loop of this. So. This is pretty easy to implement as you can see here. 
And how this works is basically that these gates here are not gates, these are actually probabilities modules, right? And I'm using a clock signal here to step through this uh, step mod and the step mod decides which node is selected here on this uh, merge module. So when we go here to, let's, let's say I have a value here and instead of this and this, I can select here an input signal, let's say C. And this one is stepping through this and we have no output here. There's no gate output as you can see here. This is not, there's no gate signal coming out of this um, because there's no probability dialed in. So in every time we are at this position here, in this loop, right? So you can see we, I'm switching here with the clock through this. And every time we are at this position here, we can dial in a gate signal with a probability. You can see we have here now fluctuating uh, LED lighting up because every time we pass this step here, um, this gate module or this probability module decides to output the gate signal and holding this value, which is exactly the same step. And this step puts out the value of this step here, which is then uh, G3. Um, so it's here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's th the sixth position here, right? Um, so this is how you can read this basically. So this outputs, uh, as you can see, a signal um, the value of this step and then we get here a pretty fluctuating signal if I paint in here um, all the values kind of this and it's not like that you want to have a melody that switches you know between the notes this fast so I'm using here a sample and hold and the sample and hold is uh, using basically the gate from a trigger and this is basically outputting here the gate or the, 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 the rhythmic the rhythm of the melody so i'm sampling holding here uh, this value and then selecting or collapsing basically the decision on a note so um, this is how it works and instead of selecting here the input i'm using the output of this right the position of this with a long delay and feeding back into the input. So I'm selecting here the input based on the output. Also here. And then you have this endless loop of having a different output. The output decides to change the input. The input then uh, goes to the probabilistic uh, generator here, selects an, the next node on a probability. The next node then goes back into it and you know, and then you can go back and forth and build melodies this way. And you not only can use this to create melodies as an input to you, where you use note pitches as an input, you can also use modulation values as an input. You can decide when I have this modulation value as an input, then I want to follow up with this modulation value. And when I have this modulation value, then I go back in here and use that to decide on the next step, right? It's also possible to use this for chords, chord progression. So you have probably in, um, let's say a minor or a major, um, you have different probabilities of which chord follows which other note, uh, other chord. And then you can build something uh, based on this. Or maybe you can switch to different instruments on a probabilistic um, way, in a probabilistic way, right? So you can, not only use this for notes, you can use this for all kinds of different stuff. Um, you can also just paint paint in your different things. You don't need to actually make a science out of this, right? You can just go in and paint in and stick with something you really like. Then hit play. And then maybe let this generate a melody for you. Maybe push records, record all the notes and then cut out certain parts you like and use it for your music. Okay, so I put this here on my GitHub for free. You can download this in the description and maybe you can build uh, something out of this. Or just have some fun with it, right? 
Um, it's pretty simple layout here, laid out, and it's not much to it, so you can extend this or change it up in every kind of way possible. Okay, I think that's it. If you liked the video, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.